Hi, Linda Sessions here. I am your instructor for CED 115, and this video is going to go over the class and what you can expect. One thing I will tell you is this is an eight-week class, so it's going to go by very quickly. You need to make sure that you keep up with the due dates. You will be hearing from me off and on over the whole course of the semester, especially if you're missing assignments, because I want you to be successful in class. That's what this video is all about. Just letting you know what you can expect from class and what is going on here during the first week. So let's jump right into Blackboard and see what's going on. You have your welcome to WSU Tech. Anytime you see a little bitmoji of me in here and it's going to say newsflash or something like that, or I might hold a triangle or something silly, uh, make sure you read it. Always pay attention to the What's New section to see if there's any information there that you need to read before going further in the class. If you're new to Blackboard, here's the Blackboard video link that you can go in and watch to get more information on working around in Blackboard itself. Here in the Start Here module is the Instructor Welcome, as well as the syllabus, some tips for success. A lot of information here in this section You'll need to read it before you take the uh, quiz in week one. Let's go ahead and come here to that Start Here folder. I want to point out a few things in the syllabus. So I'm going to open up the syllabus. I'm going to click to launch. Now, the syllabus is the contract between you and your instructor. It's going to let you know everything that's going on in class and what you can expect. I'm not going to go over every single detail here in this video. You're adults, you're in college, I expect you to go through and read it. Let me know if you have any questions. Right here is the instructor information. Reach out to me. The best way to get in contact with me is through Blackboard, but you can call if you would like to and leave a message. I don't, um, I have a pretty busy schedule, so I'm not always at my phone. But if you want me to call you, if you want to do a Zoom session, just let me know. I am here for you. Moving on down on the syllabus, here are four commitments to success. There's four for faculty and four for students. For faculty, for myself, I'm going to do my best to call you by name. Um, and when we correspond. If you have me in a face-to-face -face class, I'm going to try to learn your name the best that I can. I am not real good at remembering names. I never have been, but I will be doing my best to do that. I will be monitoring your scores. Each week, I will be sending you uh, reminders on turning assignments in. If your assignments are due on Sunday night, I try to send them out on Friday. And it's just a reminder to let you know, hey, you've got some assignments that are due and you haven't done them yet. You still have time to do them. Just make sure you do them by the due date. I'm going to meet with you. If you want to meet, just let me know. Reach out and ask. And um, I'll do my best to work around your schedule. We can do a Zoom meeting, and I'm even available in the evenings, uh, any evening of during the week except Tuesday. Zeros for missed assignments, zeros for late assignments. I do realize that sometimes life happens, it's out of your control. If that's your situation, you need to send me an email 24 hours before the due date. Don't wait until the day before a due date and say, hey, I've had a busy week, I didn't get to it. Well, why? What happened? This is your job. This is your second job or third job. This is your school. You're paying for this in some way, shape, or form. So hopefully you're putting in the time you need to put in to be successful. For you, I expect you to at least attempt your assignments and do the best that you can. Give me the best that you possibly can in uh, working. Ask questions. I'm going to show you some resources that are available to help you but ask questions as you go through the assignments. I want you to make, like I said, attend class if it's face-to-face, -face, uh, but make an attempt at all of your assignments 
and I want to help you to, to develop some organization skills and some habits to help you be successful. If you need help with time management or for study skills, hey, let me know. I'm your person. Reach out, ask. We can get together and we will. We can talk about it. Moving on down in the syllabus, there's a lot, like I said, a lot of information's in here. Uh, but at the very bottom is the course schedule. So this is where you're going to see what the module is, what the assignment is, how many points it is, and when the due dates is. Now some of these projects are like 100 points. That's because I can't change them. We do uh, some, some uh, assignments through Cengage, the textbook, and I'm not able to go in and change those assignment points. So um, just so you're aware of that. That is your syllabus. A lot more in, lots more information in there for you. So make sure you take the time to look at it. So back here in class, you can see there's also some tips for success that you can look at, as well as some resources for the school. When I come back here to the course content tab, if you're new to Blackboard, I've already said that, there's Blackboard videos that you can watch there. The start here folders there, and then right here is week one. Yeah, week two module won't be available until Thursday. Um, I don't open up the entire class. I want you to concentrate on that week's assignments and not get sucked into, oh, I'm going to work ahead. Make sure you get this week's assignments done before you do anything else. So you can see here in the module, um, I let you know what the class dates are. If you're in a face-to-face -face class, your actual meeting dates are going to be listed there. In your online class, it's going to give you the range. So this starts 821 and runs through 827 for this particular class, and your assignments are due 827 by 1159 p.m. If you're in a face-to-face -face class, this date is going to be different, and your assignments are due before class starts on the due date. You can see that I tell you what the readings are, what the assignments are, and how many points they are. So let's go into the week one module. Very first thing you see is a checklist, and that's going to give you an idea of everything that is due that week. It's going to be the same information that we just that you just reviewed in Blackboard there. For this first week, your reading is some PDF. It's not part of the textbook. It's some information that I put together. So here we've got you can read it right here in blackboard or you can click here if you want to read it on a larger screen here's a table of contents kind of gives you an idea of what i'm going to be talking about in here um, i'm going to talk about the textbook the required software department information a little bit about assignments and then right down here at the very last part are 10 good habits for you to help you succeed in school. So make sure you read through this. There's lots of information in here. Following that, here's a quiz. And this quiz is about the information that you just read in this basic course information, as well as the Start Here folder. There's a discussion board this first week. There's only one discussion board in this class. And I'm going to click to launch here. Then you're going to select Create Thread. And what I want to know from you is, are you using a PC or a Mac? What's your degree area in? Um, do you use social media? And which ones? So just look over these questions and answer them. And then I want you to reply to one of your classmates as well. So make sure you post early so your classmates have time to read your information and post on you. So let's come back here to the course content. Go back to module one and then we have our getting to know computer so again here is some information on getting to know a computer that i put together for you here's a table of contents you can see there's a lot of information here i think there's 40 pages um, of information so look through the table of contents here and if something you're like, okay, what getting started with the internet? What's the internet? I think everybody knows what the internet is, but hey, you never know. You can go to that section in the tech in the 
in this text right here and find out more about it. So read through this information and one of the things that's on here is um, files and let me see where is it at creating a new folder right here that's what I want you to do for the assignment this week so after you get through reading this information that you have here then there is a quiz over that information as well and then there is an assignment creating a folder so here if the create a folder I'm going to click on the PDF for the instructions and I tell you exactly what I want you to do I want you to go to your my documents folder and create a folder now there is a YouTube video where I take you step by step through creating the folder so make sure you utilize that resource if you need it so that is week one I just covered a lot of information real quickly so you can start and stop me as much as you need to when I create the videos I do try to do a video every week going over the week what you can expect and giving you some tips and hints on how to get around in the module or something that maybe we're talking about this week again is week one don't wait until Saturday or Sunday to start your assignments make sure you start early in the week that way you can give your best um, to doing your assignments also that gives you time to contact me if you have questions as I said, my office is at WSU South, and I'm usually there during the day. If you want to meet me there, we can do that, or we can meet via Zoom, or we can just do a quick phone call. Whatever you need, if you have questions, reach out, email, I'm here for you. Welcome to WSU Tech, welcome to CED 115, and I look forward to getting to know you a little bit better over the next eight weeks.